Tonight, a grieving family finally has some answers in this difficult time. Their loved one was run over and killed. Police say the driver did that on purpose. So the suspect already escaped from police once before, but tonight he's behind bars in a Clark County jail. Jenny Young live. And I know you talked to the victim's son, Jenny, who says he was worried this arrest would never come. That's right, Jeff. He was worried about that. He lives in California, but he said he never stopped trying to track this suspect. He says with the help of social media and people in Vancouver, uh, he was getting tips about the possible whereabouts about this suspect and passing those along to police. My dad loved his kids. He took care of my grandmother in Washington that's 94 years old, and a lot of people cared about him. 34 days ago, Rob Hicks received a call from his sister he'll never forget. And she said, Dad's gone. I said, what do you mean? She said, Dad was killed this morning. On April 22nd, Rob's father, Larry Hicks, was run over on his Kawasaki motorcycle in the parking lot of Seamark Clinic in Vancouver. Larry was taken to a hospital but didn't survive. Investigators say his death was a murder carried out by 33-year-old Corey Schinkel. Rob tells us he watched a video of the gruesome moments recorded by a witness. And I had to watch it. Um, I, I'll be honest with you, I had an emotional breakdown yesterday. Details of the moments Larry was killed documented in a probable cause affidavit by a detective who reviewed surveillance footage. It says Larry was arguing with someone in a Honda SUV. Moments later, Schinkel, who was reportedly driving that SUV, which was later found out to be stolen, swerved towards Larry, who was on his motorcycle. It says Schinkel continued accelerating, driving over Larry and dragging him along the pavement before driving off. And now I have a video of him being ran down like a dog planted in my brain. Two weeks went by before U.S. Marshals tracked Schinkel to a motel in Vancouver. However, he escaped arrest by leading law enforcement on a chase. Authorities say Schinkel was going over 100 miles an hour when it was called off for public safety. Rob says when he learned Schinkel got away, it was tough not to give up hope. This whole process has been emotional. Um, I never thought I'd have to go through it, and here I am. Schinkel was finally arrested two days ago after marshals received information that he was riding a bicycle in southeast Vancouver. VPD caught up with him and took him into custody. Police say Schinkel admitted to running over Larry, but didn't think he killed him. Me personally, I, I want to see him spend the rest of his life in prison. So Schinkel was scheduled to be in court today, but we're told... He refused to appear, even though he is behind bars. We're trying to figure out why that is. His next court appearance, however, is June 3rd. We'll let you know what happens. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin6 News. Got a lot of unanswered questions still. Jenny, thank you.